Okay, now comes the part two. I hope you have seen the part one. So for Miss Glasso, the facial structure was already been defined. She had her cheekbones out over there, and I only need I didn't had any difficulty in doing the makeup or playing with her face, and it was pretty much easy for me. So the hardest part is when you can't see your cheekbone or you can't make it visible. So you need to use a separate techniques in doing that type of makeup on that type of face. So I have my second talent, Miss Was. So let's get started with her. Okay, same as before, you need to use a moisturizer to the skin. Nicely blend it gently all over your face and wherever area you find your skin is drier, use more moisturizer in that area. If you feel your skin is too oily, you can use a little moisturizer, no need to go through, no need to use too much of moisturizer. Now comes the part 2, primer. Good primer will hold your makeup for longer hours. So nicely blend it over all your face. Now with this sponge you need to use the foundation. I'm using here again full coverage foundation just to hide the blemish which is there on the face. So I will nicely blend it. I will use a second layer of foundation also because to hide the extra marks or any other blemish on the face. So the same foundation I will use under the eyelid as well just to make the skin tone even. You need to be very quick in blending it because the foundation is full coverage and it makes very difficult for full coverage area. Once everything is done you need to do a little bit of touch ups anywhere if you feel like you need any foundation to your face you need to use so what I'm doing I'm just dabbing it wherever we have some extra layer so just to hide the uh, blemish so now comes the next part is your concealer Concealer will be applied only in the area where your where the sun hits your face and it is under the eyes, bridge of the nose, forehead, the upper lip and the chin. So this is this these are the area of your face which will have the brighter colours. nicely blend it so whenever you blend it under the eye you always need to look up just to make sure all the skin is been covered because sometimes the small layer of the under eye is left over and the reddish just shows so we want to make sure that everything has been covered and at the same leftover concealer I will use under the eyelid just to make it even upper lip and the chain area once this is done I will try to set up all the makeup by setting powder and using the fluffy brush I will use it nicely all over the face take the powder dab it and just apply it over the face lightly don't do it harshly it's like just a soft touch
the setting is very important in this part because it will hold the foundation now comes the contouring trying to make a fish face and you will know exactly where to apply the contour so I'm applying it very lightly and going towards the hairline inside the hair that will make a good transition it will not look your face will not just uh, will look uh, something odd but it will have a natural transition towards the hairline and your face skin under this chain is very very important to contour it will have the effect of the shadow and it will make your jaw very defined and less also I'm taking the same contour powder to all the edges of the face near the hairline so that it makes a good transition again See, it's already started giving that look very edgy look to all overall face so I'm dabbing all over all around the face so it gives you nice This uh, under the chin you need to do the contouring it will define your chin it will define your facial structure everything now is the contouring of your nose you need to contour the nose in order to make it straight narrow and thinner so the same powder I will use under the lid as a normal eyeshadow but I will I won't do it overly extra just try to use the balance um, balance powder or whatever leftover on the brush it will give you a natural look on your eye like how she is now is the highlighter you need to use a lighter powder or lighter shade to this area where you have used your concealer so whichever powder you're taking on the brush you need to dab the brush first before applying it on the face otherwise some extra powder will come to your face and it will create like lines wrinkles so I'm applying only to the area where I have used the concealer because it is a lighter shade and the Sun will fall to its first now comes the blush I always use two different shades as I told before in part one and I will slightly dab it on the side of the cheek and just above the contour where you have done I'm not overly doing it because it will look like as if there the cheeks are red it will show a natural look so once you're ready with a lipstick and a simple eyeliner this is how your face will look it the last thing you have to do is the fixing spray enjoyed the videos and I will be back soon with another exciting video.
Till then, take care. Bye.